This is Fox 46 News at 10. Now at 10, a major development in our final disrespects investigation out of Marlboro County, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. We've now confirmed Deputy Probate Judge Tammy Bullock is under investigation by the state's highest court. And the state's investigation started after we showed these videos depicting Bullock and others plundering through a dead man's home back in January. Now, the man's wife, who suffers from dementia, was inside while this all went down. This also happened as the dead man's sister was rushing towards South Carolina from Indiana. Those videos also showed some of the group carrying property from the home and loading it into vehicles. Well, days after those videos were recorded, uh, Bennisville police charged Judge Bullock with pointing a gun at a roommate's head during an argument inside the judge's home. And tonight, Fox 46 Chief Investigator Jody Barr has confirmed the South Carolina Supreme Court's disciplinary unit is also investigating Deputy Probate Judge Tammy Bullock. Brianna Troutman says she thought she was about to see her mother killed right in front of her. I seen my mom on the floor with her hand like this and Tammy was like this and she was like, I'll shoot you Shonda. Troutman says she heard the argument between her mother and Tammy Bullock that morning in February and when she looked out the bedroom door. Tammy was in front of her so I was face to face with Tammy. My mom was in the middle and she was just standing over like this with the gun and my mom had her hands up like this. So I went around and I got my mom up like this and I looked at Tammy and I was like, what's wrong with you? Troutman and has since moved to Colorado. She came back home this week to visit and to testify at Bullock's trial. Did you think that she was going to shoot her? Yeah, I, I really did. Um, because she didn't have her hand like this. She had her finger on the trigger. Um, so if her finger would have, if my mom would have tried to grab for that gun or move or grab something to defend herself, she would have shot her, and I know she would have. You could, she, you could just tell by the way she was standing, by the way she was acting, the way she was looking. Just she was, she was really wanting to. She was waiting for my mom to give her another reason why she should pull that trigger. A Bennettsville police investigator interviewed Marlboro County Deputy Probate Judge Tammy Bullock, Shonda Nash, and Brianna Troutman, then filed this report. Bullock's statement presented a self-defense claim. The judge admitted she carries two handguns and the morning of the argument could not fit them both inside her purse. Bullock says she had one gun in her hand when she walked out of her bedroom and said that Nash proceeded to jump in her face while engaged in a fighting stance. But Bullock told police she never pointed the gun at anyone, something Shonda Nash told us in August was a lie. I was on the ground and she was over me like this. She was standing right above me and had it like right to my face and I was looking up at her and she was saying, I will shoot you, Shonda. The city did not arrest Bullock or get a warrant to charge her under the state's felony level pointing and presenting charge. Instead, the city handed the judge a traffic ticket, charging her with a misdemeanor city ordinance of pointing and presenting. I thought they were gonna actually go arrest her and her be charged and then we would go to court. I never thought that it would just be handled on a traffic ticket. Shonda Nash is worried the city's case against Tammy Bullock may be over before it ever reaches the courtroom. What are your concerns about what's going on inside that police department with this case? That they're just wanting to cover it up and make it go away. Did the Bennettsville Police Department in any way do Tammy Bullock a favor by charging her this way? Absolutely not. After our report aired last week, Bennettsville Police Chief Kevin Miller asked SLED to review his department's prosecution. SLED declined, telling the chief, SLED sees no information or evidence to show Bennettsville Police or any police officer did anything wrong and would not open an investigation into how the department handled Bullock's case. SLED told the chief to have the solicitor or the city's own attorney review the prosecution. The chief also confirmed yet another investigation into Judge Tammy Bullock. This one, you may be seated, by the South Carolina Supreme Court's Office of Disciplinary Counsel. We have received a subpoena for records pertaining to the case, um, and we have fulfilled um, those particular uh, 
uh, subpoena needs, wants, and questions regarding this case. And that has been forwarded to our city attorney so they can properly go through the channels to ensure that that information is given to that state agency. The police chief was the only law enforcer in Marlboro County to agree to an interview during our months-long final disrespects investigation, although questions remain as to how his department handled the Judge Bullock prosecution. This interview was important to me because, let's face it, I could have hid behind a desk. I could have hid behind a phone. That's very easy to do is to hide. I'm out here in the open. I want people to know, you know, this is the truth. These are the facts. The fact is the Bennettsville Police Department is 100% acting in good faith on everything we've done and we will continue to do with this case or any case. The chief told me the city attorney will handle the prosecution against Tammy Bullock, which in city court is usually handled by the charging police officer. Judge Bullock pleaded not guilty and has again ignored our latest request for comment. Her jury trial is set for next month in Bennettsville. For Fox 46, I'm Chief Investigator Jody Barr.